Hi guys, welcome to Life in Me. Um, this is Phoebe. I'm glad to have you here. Good and welcome back. And if you are new here, then welcome. This is a place of personal development and growth where we come together, inspire, share my own idea and experience and tools that I can help us to become and live our best life, becoming our best selves. Because if you want to be the best of who you are, you firstly have to come back to you yourself, getting competition that is compete with you to become the best version of who you are. Because there's a quote that says that if you compete to other people, you become better. But if you compete with yourself to become the best version of you, you become better. So in this space, in this environment, or in this space, in this environment, we don't compete to anyone, but instead we compete with ourselves to become the very best version of who we are. So if you are interested in becoming the best of who you are, evolving, growing, let's continue. Okay. So why is finding yourself so important? Number one, let's say that. If you don't value yourself, you accept anything. You accept anything that someone tells you. You will not know who you are. You will not know what you stand for. Anybody can. People can just do whatever they want to do with you. That's the point. If you don't value yourself, so as a as a queen, you have to have a standard. You have to have a self esteem. You have to have a self confidence. You have to have that thing which you, you have in you that cannot just be taken away from you. And you have to start to value yourself. Now, how can you start valuing yourself? In order to value yourself, you first of all have to love yourself. You have to start to love yourself in order to value yourself. How can you start loving yourself? Self love is not something that just comes out of automatic. Like out of a sudden, you wake up and then you start to love yourself. No, it takes practice. It takes consciousness and it takes consistency and persistence in order to build your 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 self love you have been programmed by situations by circumstances that happen like you should not care about yourself you should not love yourself so to move from that point and start to love yourself again it takes time it takes it takes you know, an effort of yourself start to love yourself number one you first have to forgive yourself of mistakes you made. You have to let go of the past hurt. You have to let go of past um, scars, emotional scar mistakes that you made. So, most time, we, we expect people to forgive us. If we wrong someone, you say, please forgive me. If you hurt someone, you ask them, please forgive me. Ask for that forgiveness. But have you ever asked yourself for your own forgiveness about things that you did not do right, about mistakes that you made, about situations that you, you acted like, about things that you did not do the way you expect yourself to do them? Have you ever asked yourself for forgiveness? There are things that, looking back at my, of looking back at my own um, journey, there was times that I hurt myself. Like I did not keep up. Like I did not keep a promise I made to myself. Like I, or a guy that has to take you out for crying out loud. God for for crying out loud. By the grace of God, for crying out loud, you have all the power. You have all the capacity. You have everything that it takes to make yourself to go to those places. I used to be like that. I used to be like that. I used to be at the point that. I was waiting for someone to make me happy. I, I was waiting for a relationship to come in my life and make me feel whole. Oh, I had one that I thought it was a relationship. And it, made, it broke me every day. Like what I want, it was not. Because I was living as a totally incomplete person. Except I came to the place of completeness, which is in Christ Jesus. Except I came to the place of completeness, like developing myself, align the power that is to be in me and allow me to evolve, to become a better self. I did not know that I could be and do the things that I want to do. So you don't allow someone to take away your power from you. I don't know why I'm being a little bit emotional about this video, but I think that somebody that needs it. There are so many times that you feel broken. There are so many times that things happen to you and you don't let those things go. You don't let those things to, to, to get out of of you you allow it to be inside of you and to eat you up you got to let those things go let those emotional blockage go the things that you did that hurt you let it go let those situations the thing that so 
somebody said I hurt your feeling, let it go. If you are able to confront a person, confront it and tell them that I don't like confront it and then I don't like that we should did to me, but don't dwell on me next time. Let me tell you something. You have the power to allow what you allow in your life. How people treat you is a reflection of how you treat yourself. There are some places that I go, people don't tell me nonsense. I'm not being blushy, no, honestly, I'm being real. There are some people, places I go, people don't tell me nonsense because you are not supposed to tell me nonsense in that way. You have to build up your standards, raise up your standards. You have to raise up your standards in order for you to become the truth that you have to value yourself. In order to, for you to start valuing yourself, first you have to start seeing yourself worth. What do you worth? What is your worth? Do you worth just anybody? Do you watch just anybody tell you what do you want? What do you allow? What do you not allow? You can be what you want to be. You can be whoever you want to be. All it takes is the willingness to be and not align people to or condition you in a way. Hey guys, um, I was recording a video for I read Did not know that the memory of the phone was full. So the universe that I did, I did not see those things. So now I just came out. I came out after the video shooting. I just decided to come out to catch cool air. Because I said that you owe the power, you have the power, you can do whatever you want to do. And I'm at this nice place. This is the place that I am. And I just came out to just have a good time. Like just have a quiet time. So hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did enjoy this, subscribe. Be sure to touch her and follow me up for new videos. See you in my next video and love you. Bye bye.